with everything that I've gone through, I know too well what I am actually capable of doing. I had a lot of friends, you know, there wasn't really any problems socially, but I would go home and I would be upset all by myself, wouldn't want to do anything, had a really hard time focusing. I got assaulted in the hallway of my school. After that, that kind of triggered the severe part of my mental illness. I have major depressive disorder recurrent, generalized anxiety disorder, and I have ADHD. The first thing that started to scare me was when I started having suicidal thoughts. The first time I took a whole bottle of the highest strength pills that you can get. I went about my day as normal until it started with this dry pain behind my nose and I couldn't deal with the pain anymore. So I ended up driving myself to the hospital. And I remember the doctor coming in and telling me that I could die. I remember thinking, well, that's why I took the pills. The first time I went to seek help, I went to the IWK Mental Health and Addictions Team, which is a huge network of different services. They're a very special group of people that deal with very negative youth, but yet they come in every day with a smile on their face. When I first heard about Five South, the new facility being built, I cried. And for the first time in years, they were tears of joy and happiness. Finally, someone understood that this was a major issue and someone cared. Right now I'm on the road to recovery and I'm finally at a point where I can go to school. I can enjoy activities. I can get back to living my life, which I can't even describe how amazing it feels. Now, my time is useful. It's not just flying by me without any meeting.